Hey tribe, welcome back to Pure Black Magic and welcome to the bonus weekend collective reading. Um, I wanted to put an extra reading out here for you guys for this weekend because the one posted uh, initially, I'm going to keep it up, but it is very intense. It's a lot of... Um, it's a lot going on in that reading. And just like any other reading, it may or may not resonate for everyone. But I just felt the need to give you guys an extra reading to hopefully get some different energies um, or just get some energy that might resonate with uh, the remainder collective of people. But I got to be honest, um, the energy is different, but it, it may not be that much better. Um, but I'll let y'all be the judge of that. We're going to go ahead and get started. I am going to be using the Love Oracle deck to start off with and then move into the tarot. Um, and we have Date. Okay, this is the first card out. This is the card that kept sticking out before I even hit record on the video. Um, but let's start with the songs that I got. So the first song was Pick Up Your Feelings by Jasmine Sullivan. Second song was Nothings Into Somethings by Drake. And just flat out, it's the energy of someone um, being left behind, someone being ghosted, maybe with an explanation, maybe without an explanation, um, and just moving on um, and moving on rather quickly, okay? Moving on to someone else. And it feels like whoever... Um, Whoever has been left behind or whoever has been ghosted, whoever, you know, didn't initiate this separation is in total disbelief of it all or in total disbelief of something that they are see seeing or hearing, witnessing um, in regards to the person who cut them off this weekend. So honestly, it does feel as if just the energy of the songs, like whoever um, is being left behind or cut off. It feels like this is something that this person brought upon themselves. Um, so it's, it's just kind of strange. It's almost like they have the audacity to feel a certain type of way, um, or to, to have a say so in what the other person is doing with their life, who they're dating, how they're moving, etc. Um, cause it kind of just feels like somebody set themselves up for this loss. Okay. I set themselves up for this failure. We have the date card popping out here. We also have travel. Okay. So you could be going on a date this weekend. You could just be dating around. You could be traveling, whatever it is that you're doing. It feels like someone that you are no longer associated with someone that you may have, um, parted ways with broke up with is just in disbelief um that you've shifted your energy okay that you've moved on that you did not wait for them um that you did not you know accept some sort of apology that you did not take them back like somebody is definitely really in their feelings when it comes to you and what you're doing or who you're choosing to involve yourself with or engage with okay faded meeting and proposal so in the nothings into something song by drake um, he mentions, I, I heard you got engaged on me and you couldn't even tell me I heard it from your friends. So, um, an actual proposal could definitely be in the air. Okay. This weekend, or maybe this is something that has recently happened, or maybe this is something that is soon to come. And even if it's not, you know, like actual marriage proposal, it's just the, the connection you connecting with someone else so fast, like someone else, um, someone in the past cannot believe it. So let's see what comes out for you guys. If you have not already, please go ahead and like the video, comment, I comment back, share, and of course, subscribe. The more you interact here with the content on the channel, the more I push your energy into these messages and I can better pick up on what's going on with you. Okay. And even if like, if this is, um, I mean, I was going to say if this is romance for you, but it's obviously romance here. I guess it could be in a term of a friendship because, yeah, break up and snake, text message and friends. It's cool. For some of you guys, it's like whoever it is that you are leaving behind, rightfully so, because I feel like this person made their own bed and now they have to lay in it. Um, it's kind of like there could be someone else in the friend circle. Maybe you guys have mutual friends or this may be whoever you're entertaining or whoever is entertaining you. Okay. Pursuing you may be close to the person that you've disconnected from. Um, and that could be the issue that could be like, that could be the drama that could be all the drama. So, uh, yeah, for some of you guys, there's someone you parted ways with, and this is this person's acquaintance, friend, something, homie, whatever, um, pursuing you, messaging you, sliding your DMs, um, or the other way around, however this resonates. 
Um, but even if you aren't, you know, associated with anyone new in regards to like a romantic sense, it's just the fact that you kind of so easily um, are moving on with your life. Like someone expected you to be hung up on them or to put up with whatever behaviors, you know, that they were giving you. So let's see. New love, romantic feelings and new love is definitely like an ex here that feels a certain type of way, okay? Or even if it was never like an official relationship to call them an ex, somebody that you were in a situation with, like just cannot believe. It feels like you pull, if you're a feminine energy, um, I guess even if you're not a feminine energy, but if you're a feminine energy, it just kind of feels like you pulled a Lori Harvey on somebody, um, <clears throat> excuse me and i mean everybody has their opinion about Lori harvey and how she dates and etc etc but it's just the energy of someone feeling as if you you should not be doing whatever it is that you're doing so yeah we got liquid courage here grass is greener all right and surrender okay and romantic feelings yeah there's somebody i feel like in your energy this weekend it could be a drunken text a drunken phone call um whatever it is it's like somebody could have thought that the grass was greener on the other side or somebody could have thought that they could waste your time or somebody could have thought they could get away with certain behaviors or something with you um and it just feels like you just kind of you know let that go and move forward there's for sure someone else who has your time and energy Okay, or there is soon to be someone who has your time and energy, music, okay, legal matters, third party, um, or someone puts you in a third party here. But let's see, let's pull these up because it, it does feel messy. Um, I guess in a way it's slightly better than the intensity of the first reading I put out, but at the same time, not so much. So let's see we got the six of pentacles the six of cups somebody from your past definitely wants to make you an offer definitely wants you to see them could be a cancer pisces or a scorpio yeah the ace of pentacles page of pentacles tower card lovers but i feel like when they had your time your your opportunity when they had you in their energy um again they may have involved you in a third party here or they did something which was just like a disrespect a disregard to your boundaries okay um so let's see most important messages for the collective Holy Spirit for this weekend. Who or what is coming towards them? Clarity confirmation for the collective for this weekend. Clarity confirmation. I keep getting like somebody just expected you to wait on them or someone expected you to just like, I don't know, or maybe it's the person. If there is a new person that you're entertaining or involved with, maybe it's just something about that person that they just cannot believe that you chose that person over them type of energy, okay? Three of Swords, yeah, somebody is definitely in their emotions, heartbroken. Knight of Swords here, it could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, does not have to be, but somebody wants to let you know like how they feel about whatever it is that you're doing. But while somebody is heartbroken or in their feelings and their emotions, you're over here in this Three of Wands energy, whether you're masculine uh, or feminine. You're completely at peace with what's going on. You're completely at peace with the separation. And somebody is just not done here. Like they have more to say. They have more to explain. Or they they want to talk. They want answers. Somebody wants answers out of you. But it kind of just feels like um, you or whoever is on the side of being peaceful, like doesn't feel obligated to do so. It's like you don't feel obligated to say what's going on or why you made the decision that you made, etc. Because again, it feels like this person made their own bed. So let's see. What's the three of swords? It's really giving the energy of like ghosting somebody or at least the person that's being left feels as if they're being ghosted. But it felt like this person that just completely kept missing the signs or completely not, you know, doing their part or they just kept doing things to, to help make the decision easier for the person who ended this okay so the will of fortune here is sagittarius energy king of pentacles could definitely be a husband um or just somebody you were partner with all right i'm also getting the tables are turning on somebody and that's what pick up your feelings by jasmine sullivan is too um it's like it's giving the energy of there's no fun when the rabbit has the gun. So somebody who may have been greedy, may have had their way with you and other people may have like, 
you know, didn't think twice about whatever type of situations they were putting you in that wasn't right for you. Um, now they're on the opposite end of wondering and asking questions and being hurt, etc., etc. What's the night of swords? It's like somebody cannot take a dose of their own medicine. But I don't feel like, you know, you or, or whoever, you know, is on the end of ending it. I don't feel like it's necessarily being done to get back at this person. I think you're just moving forward and doing what you want to do um, and allowing this person to do what they want to do because it seems like that's what they were doing anyway. We got three threes here already, three of swords, three of wands. And the three of pentacles. So it's obviously a third party situation. Like somebody can't believe that you're collaborating with somebody, that you're friends with somebody, that you're back with somebody. You could be um, that you're co-parenting with somebody. Like you could be back with someone um, maybe that you were with in the past or Maybe this person went back to somebody that they were with from the past. Whoever the person is or whatever the, the dynamic is of what you're doing in regards to your romantic life um, really has somebody bothered. Like they just cannot believe um, that they lost you to whoever this is. Okay, so it, it sounds like it's a lot of ego. Um, like somebody's ego is really hurt. What else? Yeah, the Knight of Cups. What's the Three of Wands? the eight of swords and a lover's car. And it's like, <laughs> it's like buses, miss one, next 15, one coming. There's the separation and here's the new connection. Here's the new relationship right afterwards. So something is just like nothing to you. Somebody cannot believe um, that was just nothing for you to move on. Or you can't believe that was nothing for this person to move on. However, it resonates for you. The ace of wands, the 10 of wands. This is like the ultimate ego hurt like somebody's ego is really hurt here ten of wands five of pentacles judgment four of swords and whether or not again like you whatever it is that you're doing whether you're doing it intentionally to get to this person or not like it's just somebody really cannot take um somebody just can't take a dose of their own medicine that's really what it is and i don't even know it doesn't even feel like this person um can like mentally acknowledge the fact that what's happening is the same position they put you in. Like they don't, they can't even see it like that. So let's see. Let's pull another spread. Eight of wands, 10 of wands. Yeah. Communication coming in. Seven of wands, uh, king of cups. I feel like somebody has been trying to act like, you know, whatever separation, um, took place was not getting to them but i feel like it was it was kind of okay for them or it was easy for them to mask their emotions until now so until whatever's happening this weekend them hearing whatever them seeing whatever it was totally okay um until now that was allowing the ego to get in the way all right tower card could be dealing with the scorpio but somebody's experiencing a tower moment in regards to you six of cups more scorpio energy okay or someone's past, someone couldn't let go of their past or someone's past got in the way um, of a connection with you as well. Or you could be a Scorpio. So let's see. Most important messages for the collective this weekend, Spirit. Who or what is coming towards the collective? Clarity confirmation. Let's see. Page of Wands. And it's like this person is also fishing for information. So somebody who's been trying to figure out what you're doing, what you're up to, who you're with, etc., watching you, social media, however, talking to friends, like somebody is, is fishing for information. And I feel like whatever it is that they're seeking, they're going to get the answer. But it's like the answer is, is not going to be something that they want to hear. Okay, so Page of Wands. King of Pentacles is King of Pentacles and came out twice. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, or somebody feels like, it feels like maybe an upgrade. It can be an upgrade. Maybe you're involved with someone who has some more money or more status or clout. Or it's just something about whatever you're doing or whoever you're transitioning to, okay? Um, the person from the past just, it just feels butthurt about whatever this is. And the Page of Cups, yeah. Definitely. So what's the page of wands? The page of pentacles. So you had the three of the threes. Now you got three pages out here. All right. This person could have def definitely be um, 
you like really upgraded on somebody. Somebody was operating in page energy when it came to their maturity, um, maybe even their finances, okay? It's almost like this person wasn't really worth your time and energy anyway, or something about this was beneath you or wasn't gonna work anyway, but you gave it a shot, you gave it a chance, okay? Um, the chariot card, a cancer could be significant. It's like you gave it a shot, you gave it a chance, but now it's like you really have to show intentionally or unintentionally like people or person who you are, okay, or what you're capable of, okay? Um, but it feels like an upgrade. Whatever this new energy is, it feels like an upgrade, or at least the person from the past is viewing it this way. What's the king of pentacles, the five of pentacles? The three of pentacles. Yeah, like somebody is being left here. Somebody feels like, um, somebody feels, <laughs> I'm hearing bamboozled. Somebody feels tricked by you. They feel bamboozled. They feel played like a player. The page of wands is a player. Somebody who is already talking to multiple people or putting you in third party situations. Um, somebody who may have been holding back on offering you this opportunity, not treating you like the king, the queen, the only one. Um, and here comes the king or somebody stepping up to the plate, saving a day or saving you from this person. Not that you need saving, but somebody like somebody missed their beat. Somebody was playing around and someone else scooped right in and it, it's working out perfectly or it will work out perfectly perfectly with this three of pentacles what's the page of cups and somebody cannot take it knight of cups and the two of pentacles definitely in the energy of trying to figure out how to get you back how to stop this what to say what to do okay king of wands yeah you got two kings here or it could be two queens okay um ace of swords yeah now somebody want to come back the six of wands the two of cups but it's a no Queen of Swords, the Death card, Six of Pentacles. Nope. It's like somebody wants a second chance, but it's really jealousy. Someone's ego is hurt. It's jealousy. Um, and they feel so wronged. They feel so betrayed by you. But again, this person did the exact same actions to you. So I'm going to leave it there for you guys. Let me know how this resonates for you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Be sure to share the tea in the comments, and I will talk to you soon.